Um, here we have, um, again, we're, we see uh, the cis um, format here. But again, you know what? It really doesn't affect our calculation. Now, it's a quotient, so we do z1 over z2, right? Right? So we know very easily it's r1 over r2, which we know is 4, right? Well, divided by 3 is 4, OK? Now, we also know, let's do theta 1, right, minus theta 2, right, becomes 5 pi over 3 minus pi, which we know gives us um, 2 pi over 3. OK, now it's looking good. Looks like it's something we can work with, but let's just double check. Let's see where that is. All right, let's think about this. 2 pi over 3. We know this is pi, right? So we know this is 1 third pi of that, OK, short of that, 1 third pi. I'm, so it's about 30 degrees, right, or pi over 3. And you know what? It's 1 third. So that's actually more like this, right? So basically, there's pi over 3. So it's actually more like a 60 degree, right? So this becomes pi over 3. Right? Does that make sense? This is all pi, so it's just a pi over 3 right here, OK? Any number of ways you could found that, but I think it's a, a pretty quick way to find out. So a reference angle is pi over 3, which we, of course, know it's 60. So let's fill in these angles. So 1, 2, root 3, right? So very quickly, cosine of that, right? Cosine of theta, right? Um, right? Uh, of these combined. In fact, why don't we do it this way? Let's just plug this in so there's no confusion. 2 pi over 3, right, Right is 1 over 2. This is negative 1, right? All scientific state calculus. The sine of 2 pi over 3 is what? Opposite over hypotenuse. This looks like it's a positive. That's going to give you root 3 over 2. And that's kind of nice because you don't even have to rationalize that denominator. How nice is that, right? Negative 1, negative 1 half. Looking good, my friends. All right, so let's do this. So this becomes negative 1 half, right? And uh, what else do we have? Plus root 3 over 2i. Now I'm distributing across. This becomes negative 2, right? Plus 2 root 3. And that's a nice looking quotient there. If I do say so myself, okay? Negative 2 over uh, negative 2 plus 2 root 3i. Okay, so as you can see, there's just these crazy formulas. They, they look terrible when you see them, right? I mean, they, they look awful. But you'll see that once you get the hang of it, it's all kind of connected, okay? So, th this, it, uh, um, so they won't be too hard to memorize uh, or work with once, once, once you get the hang of it, okay? So um, that's how you um, multiply and divide a uh, complex number in... Um, in trig or polar form. And um, thank you very much for using educator.com.